Hi guys and welcome to my first video in my new YouTube battle series which is, it's got like a really cheesy name, The School of Hard Knocks, it's relates back to an episode um, in the, po the first Pokemon series where Ash visits a trainer school so I thought kind of fitting but it, it really is kind of cheesy. Anyway, through this series I'm going to be using a team, it's kind of going to be structured so I'll use that team for maybe like two weeks and then we'll do an analysis video on it, I'll go through my thought process when building it and just how I've kind of pieced the team together so hopefully that'll give you guys a bit of a better idea of, of how you can approach um, putting a team together and, and if you learn little bits from it then the, my goals met so that would be great. Um, we're going to jump into it. I'm going to be using my the team I used at the recent London Internationals, uh, which is Gyarados, Crocodile, Alolan Raichu, Alolan Marowak, Celesteel, and Tapu Koko. It looks really standard on paper, and it probably is, but it's got a few tricks up its sleeve, and I've got ways to deal with the majority of the, uh, the big threats anyway. So we'll see how we get on. Uh, we've got our first opponent from California with the rating of 1500 so let's get into it um my opponent has got a Militic, uh, Celesteela, uh, Tapu Lele, Lola Marowak, Cartana and Whimsicott so what am I going to need? Celesteela is really good here against the Lele and the Wimmy and it does give me options against the Militic well, they do have the double electric core, but Marowak can be problematic against that. Although, I do have ways around that. So, I'm going to lead Raichu and Tapu Koko. I'm going to bring Celesteela. And let me think. Do I really need Intimidate? Yeah. I kind of do need the Intimidate, but I don't know what would be more useful. The Alola Marowak, just for the fire and the Cartana and the Celesteela they can be problematic for the Intimidate because, hmm, let's think about this. Uh, bringing Intimidate here is not going to be ideal, but I think I'm going to go with the Marowak. So let's get into it. Let's get into the first battle anyway, so see what they're leading with. I've pimped out my girl, so she's got some nice threads on. <laughs> Let's get see what they've led with. The katana, it'll either be really easy to deal with or it's going to be quite difficult. I know assault vest katana is a thing, but you've also got sash as well. Anyway, my opponent is leading with Whimsicott and a lot of Marowak. So, what can we do here? I wonder if he's just going to go for the Tailwind. If he goes straight for the Tailwind. I don't really want to overcommit into the Marowak here, but... Let's think. Right. I'm going to... Yeah, I'm going to double into the Marowak and get rid of it because I'm running Hidden Power Ground on my Tapu Koko and a Psychic so that combination of Psy Life Orb Psychic and Hidden Power Ground should always yeah he's not going to protect it, he's going to get the Tailwind up which I don't mind too much because it means I'm going to get rid of the Marowak so that's that's fine I'm happy with that, the Marowak would have caused a lot of issues so this this should be us. 3 up, even though he's got a tailwind up, but that's fine. So now, what's the whimmy gonna have? I haven't really played any Whimsicott since Sun and Moon kind of came about. But I mean, what's it got? So it's gonna have tailwind, it's probably got Encore, hmm, Tapu Lele. Here we go. So we're gonna get rid of our. Now I can psychic 
into the Wimmy. And I can just switch into my Celesteela here. <clears throat> to prove, so I can get back up my terrain later in the game. Because if he has got the Militic in the back, then I do want to preserve my Coco. Anyway, so let's see what he's going to do here. He's going to on call, but it failed, so I'm just going to psychic into my top focus slot. So my Celestia is going to take that nicely. I'm going to get a real good chunk of damage onto the Wimmy because of the psychic terrain that's up as well. So, yeah, it's got the sash. Now he's not in the best of situations here because his Tapu Lele can't really touch. I mean, he could have Thunderbolt on it, but it's still not going to be. It's not going to be KO on, and I threaten it with the heavy slam. I don't want to substitute in front of it because if I sub and he protects the Wimmy, then the next turn he can just uncall me. So I'm just going to go for the heavy slam straight into the Lele, which should be enough to take it out. And I'm not really in a position here where I should be. I might double up into the Raichu. But then that's fine. What's he got? Oh, he's got Z Psychic Z, whatever it's called. So let's see. Shattered Psyche, which was everywhere at London. <laughs> which I'm not surprised because it's such a, a super good Z move, especially in the terrain. But it's, it's not going to be enough to take out the Celesteel. And I'm just going to pick up the double knockout here. So this is going to be quite a short game for the first game. So yeah, knife orb damage. Raichu's put in a lot of work. And the Lele's gone down. So that's that. And this guy's got one Pokemon left. So let's see what he's got. I'd imagine it'll probably be the Melotic. Just with the double intimidate that I've kind of I'm carrying in the team, it would make sense, but well, I guess we'll see. Oh, it's a Celesteela. Okay, so what I'm going to do is, because I know I'm going to outspeed it with my Celesteela, um, yeah, I should have enough health just to get the substitute up with my own. So I'm going to sub. And I'm going to Thunderbolt. Yeah, and the match is forfeit. Okay. So that's the first game, and we win. Yay. Anyway, as we go through the videos, I will explain, like, some of the sets and spreads we got on, the, on, on a lot of the Pokemon. Um, but it's, it's kind of doing it while we're in between games. So, yeah. I don't want to just muddle things up too much. So that was a good win anyway. Um... As you saw there, I was running the Life Orb on Raichu, um, and it does work out pretty well. One of the main reasons for doing it was I had a lot of trouble with Sun Teams and Lilligant Toko. And one of the things I can do is lead um, Tapu Koko and Raichu in that situation. So I'm always outspeeding the Lilligant with the, the Surge Surfer ability. Anyway, we've got a uh, Japanese player 1619. And in the electric terrain, I can always get a T-ball off onto the Toko before it can move and KO it. So that was one of the main reasons why. We'll go into the others later. So my opponent's team, they're running, oh, it's quite similar. So double electric with the Alolan Raichu and Tapu Koko, Celesteela, Tapu Lele, Mudsdale and Porygon 2. So he has got the Trick Room mode with the team. The Lele and the double electric. So, Marowak's, Marowak would be a good option here, but I don't really like it versus the Mudsdale. If he gets a Trick Room up, it's not going to be ideal. Um, and Crocodile's a good option here, so I, I might lead Crocodile and my Raichu. My Raichu, Crocodile. Celesteel is actually really good if I can get rid of their double electric core. Let's think. So I've got Celesteel. Hmm. I 
think I'm gonna go for hmm. I'm gonna go for my Tapu Koko just so I can change the terrain if I need to so maybe I don't know it might be a bad call but let's get into it so maybe the Marowak would have been a better shout there but then again if he gets a trick room up and he's got Mudsdale out either having Tapu Koko or Marowak out it's not gonna be ideal so let's see how this goes probably talk way too much so he's gonna lead Raichu and his ground type Mudsdale I'm gonna get the Intimidate off I'm not really inclined to fake out that Mudsdale because I don't really want to after its its ability that boosts its defenses um, I think what I'll do I'll switch out to Celesteel with my Raichu and I'll just go for um, hmm. yeah just go for the earthquake yeah because I don't want to protect him from the Raichu if it's got Encore then it shuts the Crocodile out and it's gonna mean I'm gonna have to switch switch around so that's fine and this is working out quite well because he's brought in the Lele so here comes my Celestila and what I'm going to do next I'm going to I'm going to leech seed the Mudsdale because he's more than likely not going to leave the Lele in yeah there's a stammer activating <coughs> and he high horsepower straight into the Celestila so I'm just going to set up a leech seed onto the Mudsdale and I'm just going to protect my Crocodile because I don't really want to take a Moon Blast if he stays in, which he's not going to really, is he? So I could just Earthquake again, but then if he has got the Double Electric Core, I don't really want to risk it because I'm going to need Crocodile at some point if he has got the Tapu Koko. Yeah, there we go, the Moon Blast into the Crocodile. And I get the Leech Seed onto the Mudsdale, which is great. Because next turn I can start... Yeah, he's doubling up into that slot, which makes a lot of sense. I'm going to... I'm going to set up a substitute with my... I'm going to set the sub up. With my Celesteela, and I'm gonna switch in my Tapu Koko and just sack it because I've got the Raichu, so I want to take advantage of the electric terrain when I bring my Raichu back in. But I feel like Crocodile's way more important in this match for me at the moment, and I just need to get rid of the, the psychic terrain, really. Yeah, so that this works out pretty nicely. <coughs> He's gonna moon blast, I think, yeah, into that. So that's great. I'm gonna get a substitute up. Hmm. Hmm. Now the problem is the encore. <laughs> right, what I can do, what I'm gonna to have to do to get around this encore is protect my Celesteel and switch in my Raichu. My own Raichu. He's more than likely going to Psychic into my Tapu Koko, so my Raichu should take that pretty well. Let's see what happens. I am expecting the Encore, I'm not expecting a fake out. He's not really too threatened by my Tapu Koko at all. I mean, I could probably threaten a I don't know. He's either going to fake out into the Raichu now, or he's going to go for straight for the Encore, but I need to protect the Encore player because I don't want to get locked into sub or protect from that. Okay, so he's just going to go straight for... So he probably hasn't got Encore, which is fine. 
Let's see what he brings in. Is it going to be the mud still? Okay, he's going to bring in his tackle cup or her. And he's going to go for this, like, the shattered psyche once again. Why? Why is everyone running this? I don't know why I ask why, because it's just so powerful. It's going to take out my Raichu. Oh, he went through the Protect, so he's attacking the Celesteela. I wonder if this is going to break the sub, though. Oh, crit. No, it didn't break the sub. All right. That's, that's, that's great. Okay, so... I'm going to get a heavy slam off onto the Celesteela and I'm just going to fake out the Tapu Koko. Because he can burn, <clears throat> he can burn the fake out by protecting his Lele and just attacking with, yeah. And you switch out, here comes Mudsdale, yeah. That doesn't surprise me really. That's fine. It'll get the stamina boost, but <clears throat> it might be in range for... Hmm. I wonder if I can double into it next turn. I wonder how bulky Mudsdale is. Well, if it's got the Assault Vest, it's going to be pretty bulky. It's not got a lot of health. I wonder if I can double into it. What have I got on the back? Oh, cool. oh, kick down. I really just want to get rid of that because once it. I'm going to get rid of the Coco. I'm going to heavy slam into the Coco and I'm going to psychic into it as well. Because this should be enough to get rid of the Coco, to be honest. Yeah, yeah, the Coco is going to be gone. So he's just going to have the Raichu. Oh, I wonder what he's going to switch into then. If he's going to high horsepower my. I bet it's going to be the Raichu. Yeah, it's definitely going to be the right tune. He's going to high horsepower my my right tune with his Mudsdale. So yeah, here we go. And this should do a decent amount of damage. It's quite a small little Pokemon, so and that's not too bad. So, this works out alright, to be honest, because I've got the Crocodile that I can bring in now. I can get the Intimidate onto the Mudsdale again, and he's not really got a free switch into to anything. And the thing is, if he leaves a Raichu in to T-Bolt my Celesteela, and it's gone down to an Earthquake... I'm just going to go for the sub because I can survive. Hmm. I wonder if I should protect. Yeah, I'm going to protect. Oh, really? Let's think about this. Yeah, because Celesteela is quite important. So I'm just going to Earthquake and protect with Celesteela. Because he can just go straight for the... Okay. Well, I mean, if the... Okay. The Coco's coming in. That's going to go down. I should have went for the sub. Really. That would have been the better play. <coughs> That'll do a decent amount to the Mudsdale. And he's probably going to... Yeah. That's not too bad. He needs to bring the Raichu back in, really. Yeah, it's not doing that much damage. Okay. 
So if the Raichu does come back in now, he's not got the boost, so it's going to be a lot easier for me to to get a substitute off and just Earthquake again. So I can just sub and get an Earthquake off. So that's that's fine. And he's a bit locked because he can't bring the Tapu Lele in. Like, he can't switch that in. And this should do about half. Oh, oh, Jesus. Okay. That did massive amounts of damage. My shoe's gone. Okay. That wasn't ideal. Hmm. <laughs> I really underestimated the power of that T-Bolt. I'm just going to sack my Crooked out at this point. Because if I can get my Tapu Koko in, then I should be able to win out. Because that must deal surely in Dazzling Gloom range. So I'll protect my Celesteela and I'm just going to Earthquake again. And if I, I doubt I'll get the Earthquake off, I'd imagine he'd, he'd probably go hard into the Crooked Isle. Because an Earthquake's going to likely knock out the, the Lele even though it's in psychic range so he may target that no it doesn't do yeah okay that's fine as long as this mugtail hasn't got rest or anything like that that's all right okay <clears throat> Bring in my Tapu Koko. And I should be able to finish the game off from here. So I'm just going to double into the Lele and the Nerd's Dale. I'm going to Heavy Slam into the Tapu Lele and I'm going to Dazzling Gloom. That should pick up the KO on the Nerd's Dale and do a decent amount of damage. It's going to be a two hit KO on the Lele. Oh, it might not be. Uh, I don't know. Hmm. Gonna psychic. I'm gonna sell a stealer. No, it's not enough. So that's. Uh, I win that game as well. So we will call that a day there, I think. Uh, thank you very much for watching, everyone. I hope the video is alright. I know I probably mumble on quite a bit through the battles, and I hope least makes sense to to you listening um, I really appreciate you viewing this let me know down below any improvements anything you want to see in the videos and stuff like that I know the team's quite standardish but as we progress on and go up the ladder hopefully the, the, the little tricks and things that I do have within the team will come to light and you'll be able to see those um, as I say I might only do I was planning on doing two week sections for teams but I might do um, uh, one week for this team, do an analysis on it, get it out of the way, and then get some of my, my other ideas um, on, on Captured and, and into videos. So hopefully that works out great. And thanks again for watching, and I'll see you next episode. Bye.